Welcome to Panels and Borders. I'm Dominic, and this is another episode of Road to Dune. Now, some uh, Dune news dropped last week, and uh, some pretty big news dropped today about the new Dune film. So I've got a few things I want to talk about. But first, we'll start with what uh, news that came along last week. Dennis Villeneuve's Dune may start filming in early 2019. The spice may flow on Araka sooner than expected now that Dennis Villeneuve is reportedly eyeing a February 2019 production start date on his Dune movie. The Sekiro and Arrival director has been taking a bit of a break since he released Blade Runner 2049 last fall, his fifth movie in as many years. This in turn has given Forrest Gump and Munich writer Eric Roth additional time to get his Dune script into shooting shape before Villeneuve starts rolling camera on his latest sci-fi venture. So this is good news because you got to think this movie has been stuck in development hell for a long time. There has been a lot of false starts on this film. And uh, I first heard about this Dune, new Dune movie that was supposed to have been made like years ago. It was 2007, so that's over 10 years ago. And a lot of directors came on, came off, and I didn't think like it was ever going to happen. Now it seems like it's really, really happening that they're going to start in February of next year. And uh, so that looks really, I'm really excited about that. And so we've got even bigger news than that that came today, and that's Timothy Chalamet in talks to star in Dune for Dennis Villeneuve and Legendary. So it's uh, Timothy Chalamet is in final talks to star in the Dennis Villeneuve directed Dune, the cinematic relaunch of one of the most celebrated science fiction properties of all time for Legendary. Legendary acquired the film and TV rights to the Frank Herbert novels Dune in 2016 with the intention of making multiple films. Villeneuve chose that film over numerous offers as his follow-up to Blade Runner 2049. That included James Bond. This well before Danny uh, Boyle came in with his own take for that movie that was drafted by John Hodge. Chalamet will play the lead in which the David Lynch directed original was Kyle MacLachlan. The young nobleman Paul Atreides is central is the central figure in the series of a sprawling epic novels first published in 1965. So this guy is going to be playing Paul Atreides. So, and it looks like uh, final talks are going through. So now, now that they've got uh, their eye on when they're going to start filming and they're start at casting, it's, this seems like it's a go. Like this is not something. Uh, I'm going to be really disappointed if something happens and this comes off the rails and this movie isn't made because this is pretty big news. And uh, I think this guy. I went and watched a few interviews of this guy, and I think he looks the part. He's young enough because you got to think in the book, Paul Atreides is at the start of the book, like 14, 15 years old, and by the end of the book, he's 18, 19. So he's a young character in the first book. So you kind of got to have an actor that can kind of in between those ages or can kind of pass for younger, and then you can age him up maybe later in the film or something, but. Uh, I think this guy looks the part. He kind of has the Atreides look with the dark hair and stuff like that, the way they're described in the books. And uh, so I think this is pretty good news. And uh, I like, I personally think this is good casting. So let me know what you think in the comments section. What do you think of this guy? Do you think he's going to be make a good Paul Atreides? And uh, are you excited for this movie? So let me know what you think. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And you want to see more content like this, uh, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications whenever new videos are uploaded and thanks for watching and I will see you at the next one